When it comes to going to the next level with your dog, you're gonna practice the game of weight. As you can see, I have this young man here. This is Kodak Bear, King Kodak Blue. And he's exercising what we call the weight. You can put a, another word to what you wanna call your weight. It could be rest, it could be stay, or it could be any other uh, trigger word that, of your liking. So in order to make your dogs perfect or achieve to get to that level of intermediate to advance or utilitarian, you're gonna have to get out here every day and practice. So practice means invest in time and staying consistent. He's an advanced dog, of course. I don't use leads. So I'm gonna practice the weight while I tell him, resta. And I'm gonna go out of sight. For a lot of you pet owners, you're gonna find that it's very hard for dogs to stay in place while you leave them. But when I come back, I'll praise him. That's a good boy. Good rest. Good boy. He's rest -a. So I'm telling him what he's doing. You see his tail wagging? That's the connection to staying in place. That's a good boy. So dogs want rewards they look for rewards from their owners. So I'm going to give him a reward because he's looking at this ball for rest. And I'm, I'm going to give him a release. Deca, good boy. Good boy. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Good, no. Couché back 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 yes so now i'm gonna practice the same game in a different way i'm gonna say rest off and i drop his toy For you at the beginning stages of training your dog, you don't want to practice without having a lead, restrain, being able to restrain the dog, to reframe him from moving. And I wouldn't advise you to talk about other things uh, using other words or until you're ready to, uh, in the do or not until you're ready to, until you know the dog's ready uh, for you to talk about other things before you give him his cue release and you'd be like, okay, take. Good boy, step. Good boy. Th that's enough for a good solid working dog is praise and petting him across the head. You don't have to get uh, too vocal with him. Sometimes it makes a dog real hectic acting. You can see it. And many working dogs, especially in my dog, you can see it because he received a lot of love as a pet. You go out going, good boy, good boy. He gets too crazy. So sometimes just a nice little rub, look a little stroke like this. Not a, not that, that, that turns on the nerves to all that petting like that. So just a little, good boy, good boy. Let Los, yes, good boy. Bring, good, yes. 
See, so he knows he's practicing. No. Yes. Good. Yes. 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 Let us. So again, if you want to make your dogs perfect, make your training perfect, invest a lot of time and stay consistent. And that was the tip on how to get your dog to go from the next level from imprinting the stay to going to the next level from basic to intermediate to advance. I'm Grandmaster Von the Muff, one of the world's greatest puppy imprinters with some of the world's greatest working puppies and you, the world's greatest working friends.